video, I'm going to show you how to use text in your basic HTML coding. This is really the first full page I have you code in HTML. It's important to know that I do use a website as a reference instead of a book. I'm using the W3Schools site, and I'm for this particular section, I'm using HTML, basic, home, introduction, editors, basics, elements, attributes, headings, paragraphs, and formatting. It may seem like a lot, but each one of these is only about one page and really covers one topic. So if you want to see samples of all the things that I'm referencing, the most important of the pages is the HTML formatting page, and it shows you all of the different tags that I'm using. This is what it's going to look like when you view it when you're done. It has some paragraphs, and I'm showing you some paragraph formatting. This is a horizontal rule. I have some links, and I have some fun formatting in here, bold, emphasize, italicize, small, strong, subscript, superscript. This is something that I've done here with pre-formatted text. It's considered to be what's something called ASCII art, and I'm bad at it. There are all sorts of great ASCII art out there. I do not want you to go and copy and paste any of it when you, I have you working on your homework. I want you to try your own. I expect it to be bad. The first time you try something, you're not going to be brilliant. This is supposed to be my dog. You'll see in the next video, it has eyes, ears, and a nose, and a little bit of a beard. That's the end of the resemblance. So we're going to work with quotes and some things there as well. Let's look at the code real quick. And I want you to notice that when I'm working in the code, I'm adding in comments. Comments in HTML open with your opening bracket, an exclamation point, two dashes, close with two dashes, and your closing bracket. So I start the way I start every HTML document, by declaring the doc type, declaring it as an HTML5 document, just by using doc type HTML. We have to open the HTML document. We have our head section, which includes our title. And we have our body, which is where all the work is done. Now, this is all done with different text formatting. I'm using paragraphs. And if you check here, this is the first paragraph. And when I close the paragraph, I get a blank line. And this is really done on purpose because when the HTML first started, and still today, you don't have a tab option to indent for new paragraphs. So new paragraphs get break blank lines between them. Now, if you want to end a line right here, a lot since then, a lot since then, I'm using a break. And it's self-closing, so it has the closing tag built in. And that just takes you to a new line, but you're still in the same paragraph, so you don't get a blank line. This is a horizontal rule. That's done with an HR. And you'll notice that I put a paragraph with this special sequence of text, which stands for a non-breaking space. That gives me a blank line before and after it with my horizontal rule in the middle. And then I'm using an H2 tag for just some programming things that I like. And I've got some comments here that you can nest tags inside of each other. Below this, I've nested a link in a paragraph. So here I have my paragraph. And this is really long. Notice it goes all the way over here. And it has a few things nested in it. I have a link, which is my anchor tag here. And then this is the hyperlink reference, which equals, and this is the address to my website, maryhelp.net. And then I have a title. This is where I tell you about all the cool information. Look at how that shows up. It shows up as a tooltip. That's what your title does. And then over here, this code is what actually displays on screen, because the link doesn't display on screen. My next link skips the title. It just has the paragraph ahref http w 3 schools This is my favorite reference. And I deliberately hit return here to show you that it doesn't make a line break here. Hitting return here, no. If you wanted a break, you have to put in the break tag. You'll notice I'm getting a war warning here. Proprietary attribute it. But what's happening here is it's very, very fussy. It doesn't want spaces.
here. That might get rid of it. And yeah, it did. So be careful. It's really picky on the spacing. If you Now, most browsers will ignore it, so it'll work to give a warning on it. So I've got a bunch of different formatting that I've played with here. Bold, italic, emphasize. And you can see that in this browser, emphasize and italicize appear to be the same. And that's pretty typical. This is strong, which appears to be the same as bold. You'll notice smaller here, that's your small tag, is a little bit smaller than the other text. You can also have subscripts and superscripts, inserted, deleted, or marked text. Those are all formatting tags. But actually, when we really get into formatting fonts and colors, we're going to learn to use cascading style sheets, which is the better way to do things. Sometimes you're going to want to do pre-formatted text using the pre-tag. That's right here. That makes it appear supposedly exactly on screen as it does here. You can see that the spacing is not quite the same, so she gets sort of misaligned when I try to move her over. Again, when you do yours, do something original. Try it. It's hard. Then the other thing that we play with here is doing a block quote by my favorite author. I love deadlines. I like the whooshing sound they make as they fly by. So that's the code. Now when you go to upload this, make sure that you're creating your folder first if you were using Windows 8 and a PC. Now I've had some issues with Windows 8 and Optana playing nice together. If you're having problems uploading to the internet with, through Optana, you have, there's a workaround for it. You can go to cPanel, log in, and when you're in your file manager, You can go to the folder, and instead of uploading from Optana, where I've had some errors, and sometimes it'll look like it works, and it doesn't, and sometimes it works perfectly, and this one worked perfectly, um, but if it doesn't work, your other option is to upload here and just browse for your file, just like an email attachment, and so you would go in and find it this way. And that's a, a workaround if you're having problems. And so here I'm going to replace it, overwrite it, because it already exists. So if you have upload problems, that's your workaround. Okay, now the last thing I want to show you is when you're actually looking at my pages, because I always put a link in there, you'll notice they're at mary.mccdgm.net in Web 105. And if you just go to Web 105, we're going to start doing this together but I always put in my index right away. So you can go to basic text or inserting images. But whenever you look at my files, there's a couple of cool things in Firefox that makes it easier to view. My one that I use the most is just right-clicking and choosing View Page Info. I'm sorry, not that one. View Page Source. And then I can see everything. Control++ plus plus makes it a little bit bigger and you can see my source code. And I think the best way to learn programming is have the source code next to the results and see what each thing does. So this sort of gives you a template on how I did mine so that when you do your original homework assignment, you've got a template to work from. The other thing that's cool here is that you can go into the inspect element option here. And with the inspect, and with the inspect element option, it actually selects and shows you specifically what you're looking at for each and every tag. It'll match it up for you. I think it's a really good way to learn what each item does. So use those tools, take a look at what I've done, and go create your own page.